Mercedes presents a whole variety of new models here at the Paris Motor Show. There is, for instance, the new entrance model for AMG, the A35, or there is the new A-Class as the sedan, or, of course, the new SUV called GLE, brand new model. And very important for the public, this is the first time you can have a look at that one. This is the first full electric SUV of Mercedes-Benz called EQC. That car offers a power output of maximum 400 horsepower and a range they promised more than 450 kilometers. But for me, the real premier here at this motor show is for sure the new B-Class. Next to me now is Jörg Bartels, head of compact cars at Mercedes-Benz. Uh, Mr. Bartels, we saw the last facelift of the B-Class in 2015. Now you present a brand new car. What are the main new features? What makes that car the new B-Class? The new B-Class, yeah. As you know, this is another family member of our new compact car platform. And it's actually pretty hard to make a good car even better. But this is the result here. And the main goal was not to decrease the usability of the car, since this is one of the major aspects for customers who buy a B-Class, but make it even more sporty, more agile, but also more comfortable. And of course you can't drive it here, but you will feel it if, you, if you're going to drive it soon. And yeah, the result is a more sporty, but uh, same agility or even more agility and more comfort on the road. And concerning the, the, uh, the interior, the, the usability, uh, even though the car looks more sporty from the outside, we increased all interior, all major interior dimensions. So you're actually able to put more stuff inside the car, which is one of the major aspects for customers who buy this car. And also the headroom and, and shoulder room and all those kind of dimensions, we worked on that. And we, we achieved a pretty good result. Uh, when we talk about Mercedes-Benz, at the moment we always talk about electrifying cars. Uh, what about the engines that, will, that this car will come with? Is there any electrified version coming up? Um, First of all, we start with a set of combustion engines. Uh, we have two uh, gasoline engines and two um, diesels. Um, and we work on electrifying this wonderful car as well, but you have to wait a little bit longer for that. When we talk about the main features of the interior, will we have MBUX on board or is there anything else to expect? Yes, we do have MBUX uh, on board, our new Mercedes-Benz user experience system. But it offers a couple of new features with that. So we are kindly uh, innovating this system as well. And of course, the interior look is different from the uh, A-Class or the A-Class sedan we just released. So it's, a, let's, it's the same system, the same basis. You can interact with it in a very intuitive way, like you've learned or seen that from the A-Class. Um, but th this car has a couple of new features. So this is it, the brand new Mercedes-Benz B-Class. Last thing they did on the car was 215, a facelift, but this now is a completely new car. And as you can see, they transformed the new design language into the B-Class. We have this uh, front here a lot lower than before. We do have the new grille on board. And very important, we do have the new full LED headlamps. But important, these headlamps are not standard, so you have to pay extra for them. When we go to the side of the car, what we see here is the whole car has grown a lot but it's a bit more flat, so that really makes the car stand on the road a lot more solid. By the way, the rims, you can uh, order them from 16 up to 19 inch, and that gives the car the extra kick, I think. So if we go to the rear of the car, what you see here, first thing is all the lines at the side are gone, and then you see these beautiful new taillights, full LED, but very important, you have to pay extra here because you will only have them when you order the full LED headlamps. But now, let's have a closer look at the interior. The interior of the new B-Class really presents itself a lot more modern than with the predecessor. We do find these new air vents here. They really remind me of the A-Class. We do have, but optionally, these two big screens combined under one glass. So that really gives you this extreme wide screen. But very important, that's an option. You can also have two single screens. And what I think what they really did with that car is they made it happen that you have a very flat, very thin dashboard that really looks very modern, very nice and very fresh. And when you look around, because that car of course is fully equipped, we do find the new head-up display here as well and we find loads of very nice beauty material. We do have glossy black here, we have leather, we have very nice surfaces and of course Mercedes-Benz craftsmanship. And I think they really transformed this very, let's say, old-fashioned B-Class into a real modern people mover.
At the Paris Motor Show, Mercedes really presents the whole program of cars they offer at the moment, but on top, of course, some world premiers. There is the new EQC, for instance, the first full electric SUV, or there's the new small AMG, the A35 AMG, which is the entrance model. But what I really like is what they did to the B-Class, because that car, we heard about it, I think, last time, 2015, really has changed completely. So it really looks like it should be to fit in the modern Mercedes family.